In this video, I would like to look at a couple of options you have to create applique lettering. In other videos, I've expressed my enthusiasm for having Corel Draw X6 integrated within the, the Embroidery Studio 3.0 software. This is a wonderful example. You can create applique from any suitable lettering on your computer. So let's take a quick look at how easy this is. But before we begin, remember, the choice of font and its size are important. A font that is too fine or too small will not provide enough space for the overlay stitch, so consider your choice before you begin. I will use Cooper font as it is a wide column font. Once you've created your lettering, tag it with the applique tool. You'll notice a line defining the applique will appear around the outside of each letter. From here it's simply a matter of selecting the convert button. Now that we have the basics in place, let's take a look at the properties of the applique lettering to make any adjustments that the job requires. I will turn off the true view option and display the frame out jumps. Under the applique properties, we can adjust the distance that the hoop moves towards you to allow you to trim your work along with the other settings. We can adjust the width of the cover stitch and what percentage of the cover stitch sits on either side of the center line. We can adjust the tack or tie down stitch, including the type, that is none, a run, a zigzag or an e-stitch, along with their respective properties. And finally, the guideline properties and whether the applique material is to be trimmed in place or pre-cut. Now let's take a look at how our lettering is going to stitch out. Shift-R will begin the redraw process. You will notice that the running guide is stitched first, followed by the tack stitch and finally the cover. Each letter is completed before moving to the next. This can be very inefficient if you have several letters in your design. Wouldn't it be better to stitch all of the guides followed by the tack stitches and finally the cover stitches? Fortunately we can make this happen with a click of the mouse using the Combine Applique Components feature. First you will notice the frame out feature moves to a common point and that each of the components in the design are resequenced. This of course means you will be able to trim or place all of your material in one operation. <laughs> 